Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Laser Makers Realm. Over, well, where did he go? He went over there somewhere. That's 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 Rich, the Louisiana hobby guy. <laughs> that's Patrick down there with light source engraving. And that's Steve, the hobo with wood. I did that on purpose, Steve. <laughs> well, I feel, yeah, I like chasing everything. There we go. So, hey, everybody, and welcome to another fun and exciting evening with the Laser Makers on Laser Makers Realm. We have uh, some uh, files to share with you tonight. A couple different things. We've got some acrylic keychains that we've designed. Uh, Rich, did you get a chance to upload that also, the little rolly box that I did the, for the fo focus thing? It's in the download, if that's okay, what you're yeah, yeah, it's in the download. Yeah. Okay. So we got mm -hmm. a couple of, couple of different designs and uh, uh, files to share with you. Should be some fun times. And what I want to ask you guys to do, as usual, we're all going to talk about the files that we shared on Laser Makers Realm, uh, the YouTube channel, the stuff we've been working on, and we're going to try and address as many questions as you guys have as we possibly can get to. But because we do kind of drag behind instead of going through everything in real time with the comments, if you have a question, when you post that question, put a question mark after your comment, because if you don't, as I'm scrolling through them, I'm just, I may pass right back because I'm thinking you're, hey, from Indiana, hey, from in North Carolina. Yeah, is it a comment or is it a question? Yeah, put a question mark on it so I'll know to pay attention to that and make sure we try to get to as many questions as we can. Because that's why you're here, hopefully, not just to be entertained and get free files, but to get resolutions to anything that you may have had popped up. So, does that cover what we got going on tonight? Yeah, um, mention the... Uh the new dollar sign that's down below where the chat is. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have still got all of the regular donation options available, but we did reach a milestone on laser makers realm. We have now finally had the opportunity to monetize our videos. And that gave us the option that underneath your comments, you see the little dollar sign there. So in the past, if you didn't want to do PayPal, you didn't want to do uh, Zale, or you didn't want to do any of those other options. Now you can use your, uh, that super thanks little function there in the middle of the comments or bottom of the comments. Yep. All right. And so, also, also coming soon in the next couple of days, um, there's going to be a membership available as well. That's three ninety nine a month. If you sign up to become a member of the channel, you will your questions will always get answered because we'll know that in the chat, and your questions will get priority over everyone else. And we will definitely not skip over them. <laughs> so uh, that's something that's, that's coming soon as well. And we're not going to uh, bother you so much for, <laughs> for the donations anymore because we now have the thanks button. And everybody knows they can just click that little dollar sign below while we're live. And when the video is being replayed, there'll be a little button that says thanks that you can click there if you want to donate to the channel. And, and uh, Donations are still as usual, what you see on the bottom of the screen. So if you don't want to use those, either one of those two functions, you can use any of the ones that are scrolling across the bottom of the screen. And and your donations are greatly appreciated. Uh, I, I say this every, every time and on all my videos, it does keep this channel going. I, Absolutely. I, I, I went today to pick up uh, supplies. I spent 40 bucks just getting stuff to make, get projects ready. I don't have a booth. I don't have a vendor source. I don't sell stuff online. Everything I do is pretty much just to create projects, you know, like the little file that I shared with you for free on Laser Makers Realm this week. Uh, and, you know, this takes time and money to create this stuff. Yep. Uh, and when you don't, when you're not creating them to sell, I am depending on you and your generosity to keep this thing going. And we do have some really regular uh, uh, biweekly big time donators. And I, I mean, that is immensely appreciated. So yes, absolutely. If you're, if you're one of those, thank you. I, I don't feel like you, you necessarily are doing it because you want to be called out. So I don't call anybody by name. You know who you are and you are greatly appreciated. So uh, I wanted to bring up something as well. Um, I, I got a bunch of messages and emails and maybe I misspoke or I don't know what happened. But when I did my my keychain video, let me show you real quick. I did these uh, vintage keychains and I posted this this video up um, this week on my channel. 
and I got a bunch of feedback on it where people were telling me that this uh, is not three millimeter and it's not, it's 0.04 or something like that. Um, but I don't ever remember saying that I used three millimeter plastic to do it. Um, that is the plastic that I bought. And if we come back to the other camera over here, I can show you that I bought this in, in this little, you know, three by three square, whatever it was. But this is the way it actually comes right here. I bought another one and, you know, everybody's saying it's expensive. Well, I don't know how that's expensive because look at how many three by three squares you can get out of this sheet that's 12 by 24. I mean, this is not expensive. It's like it, 26 cents for two it, of these. And, and not only is it not that when, when you talk about the expense of it, look at the time that you're saving, but all you have to do is engrave through that top layer. There's no yeah. cleaning. There's nothing else to do. You Once your, it comes off the laser, it's finished. Well, it's cutting as well. So it, it cuts and engraves at the well, same I'm time. Right. But what I'm saying, yeah. though, yeah, but after you, you, there is nothing else to do once you take it off the laser. It's a finished product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's worth the extra few pennies that it cost compared to a raw piece of material or two pieces well, that you get now put together. I think I just figured it out at like 14 and a half cents a piece is the total cost. <laughs> if you buy the 12 by 24 sheet and I bought the 12 by 24 sheet. And then what I did, I'll show you what I did as well. Hang on one second. What I did was I laid that sheet in the laser like this up in the top left corner right i drew a 12 by 12 square on in light burn and yeah. then i just put a line straight across the bottom and cut it in half mm -hmm. so that i had 12 by 12s and that worked just perfect and you can do um, that with the rolly if you've got your limit switches disabled yes you have to have the limit switches yeah. dis no you don't have actually have to have them disabled you can close the lid and still do it can you get that lid closed with that on there? Yes, you can. Because okay. it's only Limit point switches or zero door switches. The door, door switches. switches. Door switches. <laughs> they are limit switches, but they're door switches too. Yeah. So uh, uh, by disconnecting their X and Y switches. No, no, uh, right. No, 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 no. Just just the two switches up front. And uh now I, I know the newer machines now, uh nobody's got it yet, but uh if you order the machine now. Um, probably they'll be out of stock of version one by next week, I would guess. Uh, version two now doesn't have mechanical switches anymore. So uh, it's got, it's got uh, you know, nice switches on it. <laughs> They're uh, magnetic, magnetic switches now. So completely different switch on the new version of the Lasermatic uh, 10. All right. And for those, just to get it out of the way, for those that keep asking about the uh, Lasermatic 20 and when that's coming out, the 20 is coming out at the end of next month and the 30 should follow it within a week or two after that. So that's all out of the way now. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Patrick, well, pa are you there? Okay. So Patrick and I both put up videos this week in Laser Makers Realm on YouTube. He did the nice warning laser necklace. <laughs> You grab your necklace, show off your necklace. Yeah. I want to see him wear that out. It's, it's, very, it's very fashionable. It's his bling. <laughs> you know, put it on your shop door, you know, so you keep anybody from walking in. Uh, you know. Well, what inspired me was actually now when I oh. have these handheld lasers i can just wear the sign and people will know to stay away from yeah, me stay away yeah and ah. if, if and if people didn't see it patrick how did you use those on the fourth <laughs> <laughs> yeah here let me close my eyes but you can see these are actually diodes and and you used them to do what on the fourth oh i lit fireworks with them i, I got a couple of shorts <laughs> youtube shorts on my channel and one uh it started with lighting a Bottle rocket and ended with a tannerite explosion. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was saying he's in West Virginia, so he was blowing stuff up. <laughs> okay, so um, I want to share something with you guys. 
and that is we have a new website so uh now now i just lost that hang on a second gotta go back over here there we go so this is the new website laser laser makers realm and yeah the old one was really crappy i agree <laughs> but now we've got everything set up here and we have something brand new which is this newsletter notification so um, we have a new program now that if you put your name email address in here and say notify me you'll get a notification every day the day of the live stream uh, usually at between like eight o'clock and nine o'clock in the morning so you don't forget about the live stream and if we have any special events uh, you'll get notified there as well so um, if you can we would like everybody who is watching to go over to the lasermakersrealm.com and sign up for the notification service we will be having a couple of new uh, notifications coming as well and there'll be different notification services so if you want to be notified for the live stream, you use that one. We'd ask that everybody go over and sign up for it now. Uh, if you want to be notified when anytime a new video is posted, not only live streams, there's also going to be a link to that form down at the bottom of the page. Uh, and then there'll be a, a few different types of newsletters that you can sign up for. So right now it's just a notification service for the live streams, but probably by, I'd say, the end of the month, we'll have several different notifications there uh, for different things that are happening that you can sign up for. So we'd really appreciate it if you went and signed up now. A lot of time and effort has gone into the, a lot of time, effort, and money has gone into the new website. And, um, you know, we'd like to make sure that our users take full advantage of it. And all of these live streams will be posted there as well as the downloads. So in about 15 or 20 minutes, Tonight's live stream will be there, and the download will be there for tonight's stream, which that download will be there before we even finish this video and have it available to you all here. So, uh, you know, you really want to sign up for the Laser Makers Realm notification service. And, and it's free. And if you've already got signed up and got a notification, no, you don't have to do it more than once. Just one time is all you need to do. Yes. So keep something else in mind, too. Uh, if you're here tonight because of the email that you got, um, you know, from the notification service, uh, there is you can always un unsubscribe anytime that you want. But that email is also tied to my raffle. So <laughs> uh, if if you're interested in trying to win a free laser down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the address where you can sign up to win this laser that's right behind me, the Lasermatic 10, uh, and in a raffle that we'll be having in the next live stream. Is it the next one? Yeah. yeah. In, the next, in the next live stream, we're going to be giving away a brand new Lasermatic 10. So to somebody, one of our viewers. So if you sign up for our, our uh, notification service, you, you uh, if you sign up for the raffle, excuse me, you'll automatically be entered into our no notification service. If you unsubscribe from that notification service, you'll automatically be unsubscribed and deleted from the raffle. So those two tie in hand in hand. So uh, if you've gotten the email and you're here because of the email tonight and you unsubscribe from that, you'll also be unsubscribed from the, the laser raffle. So those two are tied together. Just wanted to bring that up. If you want to win a raffle, down at the bottom of the screen is the address for that. And you can come back after the stream and rewatch it. And and uh, it's very simple. Lasermakersrealm.com slash Rolly10. It should say Lasermatic. But. Patrick, he's trying to start a fire. Yeah, he's doing I just thought I would there. demonstrate the, the utility of having this sign as I'm you know, just burning this piece of wood with this so-called Amazon flash. Well, people, 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 Jack in the shop is specifically he's worried he's going to you're going to burn your finger off. <laughs> Let, well, go uh, ahead and demonstrate it now. I got you in full screen. Well, there's a video on my channel that it shows uh, these things in use. And I actually, I uh, duct taped one basically to an Ortor 10 watt and ran them side by side. So it was like using two pencils at the same time. Yeah, I can't imagine that M Amazon is selling those as flashlights. Show them yeah, what that's, can do. That, that's how they're, they're titled. Uh, 
ta blue tactical flashlights, but let's see. Let me get it in focus. Look at the Already smoke coming smoking. off of it. Yep. Uh -huh. And that is that is being sold on Amazon. I can see a, a young kid buying something like that and causing right. all kinds of fire. Yeah, a tactical now, flashlight, and uh, uh, or you might think it's a cat toy. You know, let your cat. I hope nobody buys that as a cat toy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah. <laughs> on fire. I mean, all I right. don't have a problem with them being available. They just should be marketed. As what they really are. So keep yes, take absolutely. Correctly. Yeah, I agree. Yep. So let's get started with the uh, maker stuff tonight, and this way we can get through this and uh, tell you what's in the file download anyway. So I'm going to start by um, coming over to over here to my work area and showing you what I've done. So uh, these files are going to be in the download. They are already in the download. So I started making some keychains this week, and I started off with this one right here, and the Overlook Hotel. So this is from the movie um, The Shining, Room 237. Room 237 is where the the naked lady was that uh, <laughs> turned into an old woman. And then I decided to make the Bates Motel, room number one. And that's the room that he used to peek into from the office. And I went on my channel. I've got a whole design video on how I designed these. This was actually my prototype right here. I did the prototype on wood. And uh, that was the first one that I did. Then I did, uh, I think this was, I started to do some astrological signs. And these aren't going to really come out good on camera. But. Um, this is a, a zodiac sign, and it kind of looks like a guy's calendar. Ca yeah, that's mm -hmm. the Mayan calendar. That's right. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, and then over here, I did this for uh, Jason. These this hasn't been polished yet. The owner of Lightburn for when I see him in October. That that light is getting in the way there. And what I did here was um, I engraved it at a, and then cut it out of the acrylic. And then I put some paint over the top. And this one's not finished yet. Uh, hasn't been painted yet. Neither one of these are finished or polished. This one is for a friend of mine that's a, a local Indian tribe. His name is John. Once this gets painted, um, it'll, it'll look much nicer. And then a buddy of mine has a 73 Plymouth Cuda. And he bought that car a couple of years ago. And it didn't come with the original keychain. This is a replica. Let's see if I can get you to see the lines. It's hard to get on camera. But this is a replica of the original keychain that came with the car. Yep. The rally, the original rally, one, stripes. rally stripes are hard to see, but you can see they're there. Yeah. Yep. But uh, the original keychain was orange, two shades of orange, and I couldn't do that. But um, that that's basically it. I made myself <laughs> my favorite Nismo, <laughs> uh, Nissan Motor Racing. And I, I like these little metal things that screw together. Oh, you can't see it. These little metal things. So yeah. especially with these, these big keychains that cars come with nowadays. Yeah. So I made myself a Nismo. And then I've got some Obsidian. And this is Obsidian. So for those that don't know, Obsidian is sparkle, black, black colored sparkle um, acrylic. And I did all this on the Lasermatic 10. And then I uh, put some green paint over the top of it and wiped it off. So that's that's my personal keychain. I have two of them here. All right, but which, one, which ones are in the download? Well, what are we getting for free from you tonight? You're getting the Overlook Hotel, the Bates Motel. Um, I think that's it. The Overlook Hotel and the Bates Motel. And... Also, um, Steve did a, a holder for a, a wooden holder for the uh, Lasermatic 10 for the focal gauge. There you go. So that's in the download as well. So uh, I, it's, it's these two right here plus the focal gauge. And I don't know, it might be something else in there too. My, my um, keychains, right? But I, I especially like this because I love doing these. This is three different 
acrylics right here. So you got the black acrylic, the yellow acrylic, and the red acrylic. And it's inlaid, and there's no glue. So these are hammered in with a hammer. <laughs> of course it's hammered in. <laughs> and of course it is, because I have my trusty hammer right here that was sent, sent to me by Mr. Bruce Parker. <laughs> he didn't like my little hammer, so he sent me two big hammers. <laughs> All right, so those are the keychains you're sharing, but you did include my self-defense keychains, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so, okay. yeah, I'm talking about mine right now. Okay. Well, yeah, you, brought up, you brought up the focal box, and, and I'm like, wait a minute, you didn't bring up the defense gauge. All right, okay. No, the, the uh, defense keychains that you showed earlier are also in the download, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just talking I about mine. I haven't showed them to the viewers tonight. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you go ahead and do that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you got in that coffee cup, buddy, but okay. Don't ask. All right. So we we strategized <laughs> this live stream actually right after the end of the last one of these. And Rich said, hey, let's do some keychains and we'll do uh, acrylic keychains. And that was the end of that topic. We were going to come up with some acrylic. There was no other discussion about what we we're going to do, whose designs are going to what. And a week later, Rich posted the first one he's going to share, and it's the Overlook Motel. And I was like, man, I just did the same thing. And not only that, but I actually was doing the Bates Motel, too. I was like, okay, all right. And I had already designed the Bates Motel, too. Yeah, this was done. Like, okay, I'll back up. You know what up. they say about brilliant minds. I'll back up and punt. <laughs> so I started trying to figure out, well, what can I do? What? And I used to have an automotive repair shop, and so I was handed keychains constantly with you know, everything from – uh, you know, rabbit's feet to per coin purses to whatever. Cans hey, Steve, to Steve, really quickly, let's. Uh, I noticed that Jerry's in the green room from 3DHP. He did some keychains this week, too. Let me bring him in and then you can continue, okay? Okay. So, uh, hey, Jerry. Hey, how you doing, guys? Good Go to on. see you. Everybody, this is Jerry from 3DHP. He does his own live stream every Saturday from 1 to 3 uh, Pacific, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 3DHP is a printing channel, but he also does lasers. And uh, Jerry also, wa Jerry watched my video and did some keychains. So he's here tonight too. But let me send this back to, I just want to say welcome, Jerry. Let me send this Thank back you. to Steve. Sorry about that, Steve. No worries. All right. So I, after seeing all those different concepts and all these different accessories on keychains, let's, let's do some self defense keychains. So and the files I'm sharing with you in this download from this live stream. And these were more catered towards a, a woman's hands or a teenager's hands. And I've got uh, one that's supposed to be kind of like a kitty cat. And it's made where you can put your fingers in there. And these are only made out of, you know, uh, one and a half, two, two millimeter acrylic. These are not going to be sturdy. They'll probably one time be, use. You yeah, only need them once. Yeah, they'll break, they'll break after once or two hits, but one or two is probably all you're going to need with this. Yep. But I've got a little kitty cat design with the little whiskers cut out in there. And then for the – and I'm in North Carolina, and I've seen a lot of people commenting there night, tonight they're in here from North Carolina. So, you know, we're right here in the middle of the Bible Belt. So I had to do a Jesus fish, but I incorporated it with brass knuckles. So – you know, you want to lay hands on somebody, you can lay hands on somebody. <laughs> and then lastly, something a little bit more masculine. Uh, I went with a, a little skull and little fangs looking. And he's actually got some uh, etching done. Don't, on don't, don't, look, don't look too closely yeah. at that, folks. <laughs> this, was, this was redesigned. The etching that's on here is not the etching that you will receive. <laughs> Because it was a little bit uh, iffy. Funky nose. Nose. <laughs> but the concept is still the same. The etching and the fangs. Like I said, if if you cut these out, you know, you might want to try them on a piece of basswood or something before you go and baste a piece of acrylic and just test fit your, your finger holes. Uh, but really these, I would market them for your wife, for your uh, daughters who are off at school and college or if they're working mm -hmm. somewhere, they got to get from the car to... One, one, one girl told me, she said, I don't need something like that. I carry a Glock. And I said, okay, where's your Glock? She was in the car. And I said, well, you got to get to the car. I said, put these on your hand, put this on your, and just, just in case for, you know, you don't ever want to use it. You don't ever want to use your Glock, but it ain't going to do you any good if your Glock's in the car. And, but you got these, somebody tries to grab you. 
Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, Gary, for uh, for that donation. We really appreciate that. So we got three three self defense keychains that you can work with and modify and make your own. And then he mentioned the little box I made for my focal gauge. Now, prior to me receiving mine, I didn't understand the. I've, many people have complained about laying down this little focal gauge and you misplacing it because it's one, it's a small, and two, it's the same color as the frame of the machine. Yeah. Well, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> I've got a nice little box that I made that is just large enough for the focal gauge to fit into. And I put some uh, command strip on the back of it and it just sticks right on the side of my machine. And it's now in a fixed location. I always know where it's at. I don't have to go look for it. That little box does not, <laughs> that Rich is not going to like this design because it does not require a hammer. <laughs> it can be just slipped together and glued up without any force whatsoever uh but those the the focal gauge box and those three self-defense keychains are those are what i are going to be in the night's download from me what i shared with you on the youtube channel laser makers realm this week was this little piece of artwork here and this is a a play on a thank you Lorraine. A design that I got from uh, Steve Springer. He shared this concept with me several weeks ago, and I've been playing with it ever since. It's nice. It's, it's kind of neat. It's you know when you look at it from the front, it, the legs all but disappear. <laughs> Especially when you throw it, you know, the legs all but disappear. It looks like it's a floating frame there. But this is just a funny, cute little piece. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> you, you can you can change this, but. There's, if this is not a photo frame, I am working on a version of this where it will be an actual frame to put the photograph in, and that will be uploaded on hobowithwood.com this week. And, and you guys want to be here for the next stream as well, because we're going to show you something that you can do to that that's going to be make an extreme difference. We're not going to give you any hints oh, today. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I, I got lost for self myself there for a minute, but several people have all been making comments here about these in the background. Uh, this you're seeing if you've watched my YouTube, you've seen this in this week's YouTube channel. You can't really he's getting washed out, but he that's she is a little pink cow, and this one's a little blue cow, and he's got horns. This one don't. It's a little girl cow or boy cow. They're made with easels, the freestanding. And they have uh, changeable tags. Yep, changeable tags that come with all, all 12, 12 months. So you can, this is like a photo prop. You've got a newborn, you want to do a photo every month. Uh, and then someone else suggested in the comments something you could do with these tags. And I'll probably re modify these. Is on the flip side of the tag, you could actually turn that into a small frame. And put a little photograph of you know the one month you know two month you actually put a photo on it to identify which one, uh, and then this is what I finished today, and uh, a lot of feedback from the Laser Makers Realm on Facebook, the Rolly Automation Group helped to finalize this design. It's a four layer cross that I'm working on that'll also be on Hobo with Wood. So those are the projects I've had going and really nice. Thank you. Uh, if you're interested in, in any of these that are not free, that you're not, not seeing it as a free download, you can find those files on hobowithwood.com. All right. Excellent. What, what, uh, where'd, where'd Rich go? I'm here. Okay. Well, I see your laser. You got, you going to do something on the laser? Uh, I'm just going to get a job running on here. Okay. But I mean, it shouldn't affect anything else. <laughs> no, I didn't. And, and I wasn't prepared to cut out any keychains tonight. It's um, okay. I'm it doesn't screen. matter. I just wanted to show uh, people how I did the one keychain um, with my name on it. Okay. And I'm going to start going through. I know you were acknowledging the thanks on all the donations and thank you for everybody that has donated and that 
will donate because it's going to be laid really heavy on you as this progresses and you're going to just feel led to hit that button. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, let's see. A lot of people from down under in New Zealand, Australia. Uh, let's see here. We got several more rednecks from North Carolina in here again tonight. Uh, -ba -ba. Looking for question marks in the questions, folks. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so I am going to be showing you how I did my obsidian keychain, except I'm going to do it on wood. And this was a very, very simple design. So all I did was take the word hobby guy and offset it with the offset command over here. That's it. That's all I did. And I put the offset onto a cut path and I drew a little circle, two circles, and I welded these two together. And that is the whole design. That's the whole design right there. So uh, now on my, in my library, I had done this on acrylic, but what I have in there tonight is plywood. So let me go to plywood and let me go to my cuts and layers and I am on the cut layer. So we're going to go to two millimeter cut and assign that. Hey, if you folks don't know about this library, if you have a 10 watt laser, I spent almost 300 hours designing this library, testing every single material that you see in here. And this is available in my online store, engraveandcutfiles.com. So uh, I'm going to do that, and we're going to do engrave, and we're going to assign the engrave to the black layer, and we're all set. So now if I come to my laser over here, and if I hit... I have the wood positioned. You see how I have this in the top left corner? That's where my wood is positioned on the work bed. And I don't have to frame or anything else. Uh, all I have to do is come to the start button over here. And I don't have it connected. So let's go to the laser tab. And let's right click on that. Of course, it's not connected. You know that's always going to happen in a live stream. Do I have it plugged in? That's the question. She says ready now. It's still not connected. Uh, no, because I probably it's on COM one. That's why there's no COM ports available. It could be uh, what I did on this. Hang on, let me unplug it. I don't know if I I may have unplugged this. Uh, yep, I think I unplugged this USB cord. Hmm. I reset all of my cameras. So, oh, it's turned off. Yes, Gary Wolf. Jerry talks, but I'm a guest, so I'm just being quiet. So my, my sports car enthusiast and my laser enthusiast, uh, there is no substitute. She says she's been having a lot of fun with my earrings. And I tell you, guys, if you aren't making earrings, you're missing out on a cash cow. Uh, we all have tons of scrap material laying around, and that's all I use to make my earrings. Uh, and you know, ten, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars a pair. You know, you make more profit off of your scrap than I do anything else. And I have a lot of designs on hobowithwood.com for earring designs and an earring holder to display them if you want to put a little retail place up or and put it in the shop. Well, it would have helped if I turned the machine on, which I just did. There you go. <laughs> so that that might have helped. You know why I have a light turned on back there? So it looked like it was on. <laughs> and let me see. I do need to focus the, the laser first. So I'll move it over to the material. And I did, I did make a new focal gauge, too. I 3D printed this gauge right here. And it has four steps on it. So it has a top step for my photos as well. So I'm going to put this on a three millimeter... Focus that, and I printed also a little holder in the side for that too, so I don't have to use the uh, the metal one. Okay, now it's focused, and the power button is on. So that that was the important step. Don't forget, folks, turn on the power button. 
And guys, if you're late turning tuning into the live stream, if you have questions, make sure you put a question mark in your comment at the end of your question. So I know it's a question. I don't want to miss anybody. But it's okay. impossible to read all of these comments. So I look for question mark. So there we go. <laughs> so, Jack, Jack in the shop he comes in with a little humor here. I guess he's referring to my Jesus fish. He said, God said, turn the other cheek. But after that, I only have two cheeks. <laughs> and That's V funny. comments, yes, V, they, these, uh, uh, these are thin acrylic, and they're probably single use. Uh, but if you get hit, jab, poked with these things, if you're probably going to let go of whoever you're doing. Oh, if somebody punches you with one of those, it's going to do more than a little jab. <laughs> and Steve Johnson says that he can't, I can just see selling one to my wife. I'm, I'm and I, are you, <laughs> are you concerned that she'll use that against you? Uh, <laughs> okay. Off topic. All right, here's a question mark off topic. Well, hey, there is no such thing here. We're that's why we're here. Throw your questions out there. No. Will the Roly engrave brass? No, you need a fiber for that. Hey, Jerry, um, show them what uh, you did this week while we're running this job. Yeah, I followed Rich's video a couple days ago. I had some green ac acrylic laying around, and I did two uh, clear keychains one for the Bates Motel, one for the Overlook Hotel. I like the, the translucent. Exactly right. And I need to sand the edges just a little bit. They came out pretty nice. I had some green. And then I figured, well, let's do something a little bit bigger. So then I have an Overlook Hotel here. <laughs> and a base hotel. I made them a lot larger. I don't have any key rings to put on the top. And then on the back of each one, I put the two hotels and motel in question. Now, online, it says that's the Overlook from The Shining. But Rich says, no, that's the wrong hotel. But that's what it said on Google. That's why I went with that picture. And then I just done on a test piece of material. I've done this three or four times. So I got it to look the way I wanted to before I put it on the finished piece of wood here. And the same with the Bates Motel. You can see Mama's house up top, and then a motel, and it says Bates down there. But I thought yeah. that would be pretty cool. And then I clear coated them. I didn't want to paint them yellow or, or green. I figured I'll just clear coat them. And then the two greens, uh, green ones came out real nice. And a few people in chat said, well, don't I ever talk? And I guess they meant Patrick. They said Steve. We're being so quiet. Well, I live stream weekly and I talk a mile a minute. So seeing me not talking for the people that know me, that's amazing. But <laughs> through live streams, I'm just kind of listening. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, it came out great. Rich done a great job. I followed his video, like I said, but I never got the top quite right. But other than that, they came out real good. So I saved them in light burn. Then I done another two bigger ones. And that's what I've been working on this week, other than other things I got going on. So I'll have to send you the timestamp where you can adjust the top on the okay. video. <laughs> but uh, another question, Rich. Rich used to use the lower left alignment, I think, but the Roly uses the top left. Why? And I, you want because uh, there, there, there. I used to use use a different laser. So um, I used the top. No, the bottom left is the origin of the machine, but the top left is where I engrave and I cut because it's closer to the exhaust. So you want to be as close to the exhaust as possible. And uh, I never use the bottom for engraving. That That's just the origin of the machine. Yeah, and, and I, I'm, I'm taken to following suit there. I use that top left as where I start my jobs and where I position my material for that reason. But also another reason, if you're using that camera to help position your material, if you have like right there, when that job finished, that that laser head moved to that's his finished position. It's back and out of the way. And now and he's ready to put another piece of material down or reposition that material. He can just drop it in, take a picture and the laser and the gantry is not in the way. <clears throat> that How's nice. that for a final product? Looks good. Great. And this is just a quick, simple, you know, uh, three or four or five minute project. And of course, that's out of wood, you know, for the demonstration. But um, the actual one that I did was at, out of uh, obsidian right here. 
So this is a sparkle. Women love this uh, sparkle acrylic. So I did this out of the sparkle acrylic, and then the part that was engraved, I just put some green paint on there and wiped it right off, and it, it stained the engraving part. And that was also done on the uh, Lasermatic, by the way, this one here. All right, so that last question was from GBWSF, and then just a few min uh, comments later, he just made a comment that that didn't answer his question, but thanks. So if you still have any other questions, GBWSF, post them down there. I'm getting to the questions. I'll get to you again, but hopefully we've resolved any questions you had there. Well, the, the answer to that question was I do it in the top left corner because that's where the exhaust is. So the closer to the exhaust, the, the cleaner your acrylic on the inside is going to stay. You know, it's it's the only answer that I can think of. Yeah. And, and they've, they're having a whole conversation between themselves now. So, like, you know, he, he does use the lower left and he was just wondering why you use the upper left. And it's, and it, it, it's, it's about personal preference, right? I mean, and then yeah. there's reasons that you do it and now you've yeah. shared your reasons. He might change what he's doing because of that, but I do it mainly because I, and I have my finished position set like you do. It's up and out of the way to the right. That way, whenever I shut my lid and hit take a camera, the gantry and the laser's gone. If you're if you're using that forward position to work from, and you're not putting that laser head at the back out of the way for a finish position, that gantry and laser's in the way. Uh, you know, for in in my opinion. So yeah, yeah. So there's, I no always, right, there's no there's no right way or wrong way, right? No, no, there isn't. But as as far as where you position for your job. If, if, you know, some people have the exhaust on top, some people have it on the side, on the right side, you always want to position it as close to the exhaust as possible, and that'll keep the, the rest of your, uh, either your acrylic or your, uh, whatever you're using for an enclosure, that'll keep the inside of it clean because the smoke will get sucked out uh, before it touches the enclosure, so... Um, and, and several people are commenting about there's homing to the front left. And yet, and there that's that is home position on that's home, the home position. But we're not using home. We're using finished position. start position. Yeah, our start position is my start position is top is your, left. Yeah, and and, and it's and all all, all laser matics all laser matics home to the front left, and uh, so do most lasers, most diode lasers. Some of them, you know, do like some of the Atom Stacks and some of the Nages, they home to the top left, but most diode lasers um, home to the bottom left corner. That's the home position. Right? That's something completely different. V's being funny. He's just testing to see if the question mark actually works. And yes, I saw your question mark, V. It works. Uh, another question. When Rich said plastic for the yellow... He did the keychains out of. Is it plastic or acrylic? Plastic. So um, I, I did a couple of different keychains. So the green over here, that's three millimeter acrylic. The black and yellow is three millimeter acrylic. The obsidian is black. Uh, the obsidian is sparkle acrylic. These are plastic. So this is Romark plastic um and this is only like 0.4 millimeters thick which is the perfect size um i'll show you what the sheet looks like we, lo we lost oh. Patrick. yeah he said that he lost his connection uh. so uh, this is the sheet of acrylic this sheet is 15 15 uh the part number is 122517 and it is made by romark romark and you have to be very careful when you if you buy this because both sides are covered and you cannot engrave this with the laser if the plastic is on it the plastic cover hey because steve did you just notice that patrick was gone yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you try engraving this with the plastic cover on what's going to happen is the plastic is going to melt and your engraving will not come out really clean it'll come out with burnt edges all over the sides if you take a look at this keychain you can see how incredibly precise that engraving is 
I mean, it comes out absolutely beautiful. Oh, and something else, too. You see that brand dropping any mailbox, postage guaranteed? That actually works, by the way, in case you don't know that. Um, you can, as long as that's on there, the postman will deliver a notice to your house saying that postage is due to go pick it up. Um, so the thing is that they have to know where to deliver it. And being if that it's got your keys on it, you don't want to use your home address. So what you want to do is always use a friend's address. So engrave on the back the address or on the front, wherever, front, back, doesn't matter. And uh, they'll, they'll bring that note to your friend, which is not your house where the keys actually work <laughs> in case a thief gets it. You know, so they'll bring they'll send that notice to your friend and then your friend can call you and say, hey, I got a notice saying that you're just let your friend know that, you know, you did it. And would they uh, try to deliver it to the Bates Motel address on the front like a regular key fob? No, well, you wouldn't engrave it Bates Motel. You'd put your own address on there. <laughs> you'd put you you'd put uh, in my video. I put where the heck are my keys uh, engraving it on the front of it. And uh, then if you put your your address on there and you lose them they'll deliver it they'll deliver the notice to whatever address is on the keychain so have you ever done any laser engraving on any food uh yeah uh, unfortunately I, I was watching john's video on tripod's right. garage <laughs> and uh he did some cookies so i for a for a party that we had uh, I engraved the top of the cookies. With the diode yeah. or with the CO2? With the diode. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can do hot dogs and all kinds of stuff, yeah. I tried yeah. doing some chocolate-covered Oreos but it, with the diode, but they just tasted burnt. I did I did these um, sugar cookies, okay. and you couldn't taste – if you get the right setting, the first couple that I did tasted horrible, yeah. but then I got the right setting. I used a really low, low setting at a pretty high speed – you could still read everything. It looked nice, and you couldn't taste it at all. So, so specifically, um, specifically, EF Sniff, he just asking you toast bread on a laser. I don't, I don't, yes, <laughs> you take, can. Take, take a while. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to toast a whole slice of bread. Yeah, um, yeah. It, it, that would take about probably 15 minutes to do. I mean, it would be quicker in your toaster. <laughs> and, and, and depending on where, where you live right now, you can just put it outside a lot quicker than losing the laser. That's true. It was uh, 90, what was it, 98 degrees here today. <laughs> Could have put that out in the sun and uh, it would have toasted just fine. <laughs> All right. So this is a long one. Uh, wondering about advice you and I have for small print on small pieces. For instance, a name in a license plate, i.e. preferred font, feel or not feel, or just a line, want it readable, but not looking like a blob. Uh, you know, I, I, the first thing comes to mind is it will depend on the material, you know, uh, different, different materials might require different fonts or sizes or fill or not feel. Well, a license plate is a pretty, pretty big, uh, project. Yeah. But and, and that's why I was a little confused because uh, she says for small print on small pieces. And then for instance, a name on a license plate, uh, you might want to clarify that. <laughs> and I almost, I almost never, I almost never use line for text. Uh, I don't think, I can't even remember. Um, I can't even remember the last time that I used line for text. I always use fill no matter how small it is. I, I've, I've used it when I do uh, translucent acrylic and that's it. So uh, that link, somebody was asking uh, if you can find the comment that's talking about the link to the Romark and put that up. Uh, I didn't see anything. Uh, I got it. Okay. Okay. So, um, I didn't put up the link, but it is uh, Johnson plastics. So that's, uh, JP plus.com and the row mark, uh, the yellow, I forgot the part number now. One, two, two, five, one, seven. One two two, yeah, that's it. One two two five one seven. It's called Romark Satin, uh, blue yellow. Yep. Okay, so this one is blue yellow. That one was black yellow. I'm not sure of the part number for the black yellow. Uh, I, but I, it's I, one I, one two one two two five one seven is the name of the uh, is the part number for the item. It's Romark 
Romark Plastic, 122517. And I shared, I shared your address in the comments. So. And this is, okay, so this is 1 16th inch. Yeah, so it's 3 mil. That's not, this is not 1 16th inch. 16th inch. I think they got that wrong. At yeah, 1 16th would be paper thin. Well, not oh, it is. It is 1 16th. Okay. Yeah. So 1 16th of an inch is uh, 1.66 millimeters, 1.7 millimeters. I thought it was, I thought it was thinner than that. Yep. So that, right. is, that is right. Malverde Designs asking, just came in and was wondering if this can all be done on, on the Falcon 10 watt. They yep. want to try out acrylic, just don't know how to even start. Well, all of our projects were done with a 10 watt diode. So yeah. yes, yes. And uh, if you don't know how to start, go over to uh, engraveandcutfiles.com and you can purchase my 10 watt library which took me like almost 300 hours of testing to put together every single, every single speed and power in there was done on this laser matic behind me. And every single one of those was actually done. It's not in, not like any other library you'll find anywhere because it's not just the suggested settings. It's settings that actually worked on a 10 watt laser. So, um, and there, you know, like I said, there are hundreds of hours that are put into it. I will share that screen again so that you can see it. Let's see. Uh, it said that I was still sharing it, but I'm not. I'm going to go back and share it again. And let me uh, make this bigger. So over here is the library. And these are all of the materials. All of these materials have been tested. Everything that you see in here. And down here is the row mark. There, there are a few different types. I've got everything from rubber stamps. Uh, I've got the Scott Ply plastic name badges, stainless steel, stone and slate, vinyl, and everything. All these different types of woods. And acrylic is up here at the top. You won't find a library like this anywhere. Yeah, I don't think I have that either. Uh, it came on your USB drive if you uh, with the uh, Lasermatic 10. You, you, okay, and then you sent me an updated version, I believe, yeah. Uh, 795. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's see. But you can find that library on engraveandcutfiles.com. It's engrave, A-N-D, cutfiles.com. Sorry, Steve. Scott's asking for these keychains. What thickness materials is everyone using? What, would, what did you use on yours there, Rich? That was... Um, 16th of an inch plastic and I use three millimeter acrylic for the other ones. Yeah. And, and as I, on my self-defense ones, those were just single layer three millimeter, but, and like I said, and, and they'll do good in one or two punches, but I did do uh, a keychain for myself and this one was three millimeter, but I doubled up the layers. Yeah. So it's, so both you know, sides match. Well, no, that's a solid, hid, hidden the back of it nice and smooth. Uh, oh. And then, but by making that six millimeters, you could do the same thing with self-defense keychains. If you've got three millimeter acrylic, you could just cut two of them out and, and sandwich them together. You ain't breaking that. <laughs> you, you would you would sandwich those together? That's three millimeter off, so I just measured it. It's three millimeter. Yeah. Yeah. Those, I just sandwiched that together. I cut out one. The, the top layer and then just cut out the outline. And I can it. I can tell you that that 1.7 millimeter row mark is also perfect. So you don't have to have three millimeter. Go ahead, Jerry. Yeah, I was going to show uh, Patrick designed and I printed that out of my uh, bamboo labs in black and silver. Yeah, that Jerry, way Jerry's got to Jerry's got to show off that he can print multicolors. <laughs> <laughs> well, anybody can on something like that. Just do a layer change on your regular printer. So. Yeah. So I also um, I also printed my own. I'll show it to you. That is the uh, holder right there. This is the holder. This is the actual gauge. This is the 
lasermatic gauge. Did you share so, the STL for the 3D printed people out there? The STL is on my Tinkercad, so you can just go there. Okay. Um, but this just drops right into there perfectly, and it's stored on the side. I have an extra step up on top. See, it says photo. Yeah. So that extra step on top is for when I do photos. And this you'll you'll never lose because it fits right in there, and I have a double side tape to the to the acrylic on the inside. I also have this this also fits in here too. You see, you can put either one of them in here, but I'm just keeping the plastic one here because I'll probably never use that, and I always just keep this right here so I don't ever lose it. But um, yeah, so that uh, any anything that whenever I talk about 3D printing stuff. It's always going to be uh, available for free on my Tinkercad account. So you can just go to Tinkercad.com and type in there, Louisiana Hobby Guy. And uh, anything that I've 3D printed will be there for free. And don't expect any of the prints to be perfect. So <laughs> <laughs> this, this one, the letters are a little goofy, but, uh, you know, it does the job. So. All right. And Steve Johnson, uh, I think this is probably late. Yes, JP Plus, I shared it in the comments. We've already talked about that, but just you have a question mark. I wanted to make sure your question was addressed. <laughs> uh, another question mark. I love this channel. May I ask what you use to polish your acrylic or plastic? You may. Uh, I, I use Novus. Um, let's see. So uh, Novus has three different three different things. So they have the polish. There's Novus 1, 2, and 3. And this is what it looks like. And uh, one is a polish. One is a, uh, let's see. This one is a scratch remover, number two. Number one is the polish. Number one, I think it's called clean and finish. Yeah, clean and shine is number one. And number three is a heavy scratch remover. So these are the three different products. They come in a package, one, two, and three. Uh, once you've bought the package of one, two, and three, the only thing you'll need to buy after that is the one because this is the one you're going to use the most of right here. All right, Rich, grab that row mark again. Grab that small piece. Okay. Because we need to do a little clarification on your row mark. What, um, what's the question? Well, I'm going to put on screen, and then you need to make that make you full screen. Uh, Lorraine Austin, she's down in Australia. She says, unfortunately, where you get it from America doesn't help me. She's in Australia. And she didn't think you could engrave plastic. Is it a, cer is it a certain type of plastic? And we didn't yes. clarify what Romark is and how okay. it works. Okay, Romark is, uh, as you can see here, it's black plastic, this one. And the top is a very thin layer of, of yellow plastic. OK, so what we're doing is you're engraving away just the top, exposing the black. So hopefully that helps you, Lorraine. And, and I'm sure that there are sign manufacturers in Australia. They may not have the Romark brand, but I guarantee you there will be a uh, and they actually make that where that's two layers. They make it with three layers where it's yes. you know, on both sides. And so, you know, if it was going to be in a stand and both sides of the sign will be visible so you you can get it in several and uh and different color combinations but i'm sure you can yeah. find that that material in australia now if you're using a diode laser thank you so much bob for that donation appreciate it hey everybody hit that little thanks button down down there to the dollar sign to keep this live stream you know going because i mean that's the only income that we've got from this channel so um besides the few pennies that YouTube throws at us once a month. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you're using a diode laser or a CO2, you'll have no problem with the Romark plastic. But if you, you have to have on the diode laser, you must have a dark colored background or else it won't cut through it. So many of these plastics have a white background on them. In fact, most of the selection is white background. So you have to make sure that you got either the gray or the black background backing layer, or else you won't be able to cut it on a diode. Now, with the CO2, you don't have to worry about any of that. But with the diode laser, you do have to have a dark 
solid back background color. And, and Jason, I answered that question just now too. He's asking if the back is of that keychain is yellow. You can get it where it is two layers of yellow with a black core if you wanted to have both you know sides of it in yellow. Yeah, just, the back is black. Make, make sure you get it. Uh, this double. was dark enough to engrave and cut without a backing. I did have a backing on it, but when I done my tests, I had the backing off on both sides, and it did cut it fine. So that green there is dark enough. Damn. Yeah, it's, if it's a dark color, it's okay. It's the light colors that you can't cut through with a diode. Yeah, light clear, yeah. And here ET-LC wants to make sure his question mark seen. He put it in front. <laughs> yes. Will the material library work somewhat with the Comgo 10-watt laser? Yes, it'll it'll work on any 10 watt diode laser. Uh, it'll work if your laser is focused properly. If your laser is not focused properly, like anything else, it it's won't work. Good, but it's a good starting point. You know, it's it's going to be 99. No, well, actually, my library is not a starting point. My library is tested and proven. Well, it's, it's no. going to depend on the material too, the environment, and there's other issues, especially if you're working with wood. Well, yeah, of course. Okay, so but yeah, yeah. it's. So it's not an absolute Bible, but it's damn near close. Yeah, yeah. And and that's that goes for any library. You can test and get a, a cut for a piece of wood today that doesn't work next week. But it'll be close, <laughs> you know, because it, 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 like Steve said, it all depends on the environment. So, uh, yeah, the, these are really super close. All of these numbers are tested, and they worked on this laser, which is 10 watts, and they'll work on any 10 watt laser as long as it's outputting at 10 watts. And uh, one of the other viewers commented to Lorraine just saying that he got his from Trotec. They call it Trolay. So I just want to make sure that yes. you've seen that. Okay. So, yeah. So, Romark is just the brand, uh, and um, Trotec has their own brand name, but um, it is neither one of those. It's not Trollays. It's not Romark. Um, I'm trying to find out. I don't see it here. The technical name for this product is something completely different. But there are several different names for it. This one just happens to come from Romark. No, it doesn't say what it is. But I like the Romark because it's made, made in the USA. The uh, oh okay. The truck pack is made in Canada. I think there's some clarification. Uh, we we're talking about needing fine print. I think she's got a vector image of a car, and she's needing to put a. She's want to put little tiny letters in the license plate in the vector. And and on some of my images on hubboeswood.com, my my car is that I'm not old. I'm a classic. I did just that. I if you look at the license plate, it'll say '69 Stang or whatever. And uh, I don't know, maybe look at those images. I don't remember how I did it, but it's just a it, trial and error, you know, if, and, and which material you're working on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I, I also, I, I wanted to bring up that we are not having a, uh, uh, a raffle during these live streams over the next, I guess, few live streams because we have an online raffle that's going on. So, um, let me just put that up on the screen for you right there at the bottom of the screen is the online raffle. If you want to try and win this laser that is behind me. Well, it's not blinking. What happened here? Come on, plug. I see your, I see your light. There it goes. <laughs> no, Jerry, clap. Don't forget clapper. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's having an issue now all of a sudden. I see. So anyway, that's on a, a twelve by twelve mirror. There you go. Well, you know, because it's made in China. Anyway, testing one, two, three. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I engraved the back of a mirror on the laser matic ten. It came out really good. And so by the way, in, in, in case you don't, in case you folks don't know it, Steve did an entire series on, on his YouTube mirror. channel about engraving mirrors. So you might want to check that out too. But only if you're serious, because there's some lengthy sum of guns. Oh yeah, you got to be totally serious. Uh, you know, I I, I watch when I finished. What I think I made a comment on one of them. I can't believe I watched the whole thing. <laughs> All right, 
right. But it was it was it's worth the watch, you know. If if you really want to learn, but you know, if you if you don't don't tune in, then you can get it in five minutes because it ain't easy. Yeah. All right. Question mark. Speaking of various materials on the topic of acrylic slash plastic, can the same acrylic which is commonly cast as pin blanks can the is that a question? <laughs> Alumalite, he's talking about. I don't know. I, I've never tried to cut that, um, the pen blank alumalite, but um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. So uh, it's a matter of testing. So you have to you have to test and and find out. Uh, in my library for the acrylic, you know, I, I have different types of acrylic, and every one of them is a different test. And just to tell you, just to show you, uh, and this is an an upgraded library, so it's got a couple more in here, but. I've got um, yellow, and then I've got, um, well, I've got the obsidian. I've got the red with paper on it. Uh, I've got the red without paper, the yellow with paper, without paper. So they're, they're, every different type of plastic that you use uh, has to be tested to, to see what kind of results that you can get from it. So... Um, you know, that, that all goes back to testing, and it's always the same. The answer to that, those questions, is always the same, and it's you have to do a material test on it. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that wasn't a complete question. I'm like, what? what? So now there's the rest of it. Is Tell your wife to leave the room. You're busy. <laughs> No, there is no such thing as not damaging the laser. Any, any, anything that you cut or engrave on the laser will damage the laser. That's just the nature of the hobby. So, um, yeah, everything will damage the laser. Right, Some so things more than others. I have, I have scrolled through the entire post there, and I, I think I've gotten all the questions. If you have still at this point a question that I either missed or anything, now's the time to post it because I'm. It, as soon as you ask it, we're popping it up here. Okay, good. So uh, I want to remind everybody that we our website is brand new. We've put a lot of time and effort into it. And uh, now we have uh, 90 people watching, so more than we had earlier. So if you could uh, run over to uh, lasermakersrealm.com and sign up for our newsletter over there, we have a notification service. It's not really a newsletter that will notify you the day that we go live so you don't forget. So... Um, I'd like to ask everybody to run over there and sign up for that notification service. And go subscribe to Jerry 3D HP. I do lasers. I do uh, 3D printing, uh, 3D printing, painting, resin, a uh, little CNC work, a little bit of everything. And on my weekly live streams, I talk a mile a minute because I'm their guest. I'm being kind of quiet and, you know. Yeah, Gary is never quiet. But <laughs> if you look down at the bottom of the screen, yeah. uh, it's YouTube.com slash at 3D HP. Yep. Thank you. All right. Yes, sir. Question. How will a fiber laser do with the two color plastic? It'll do it very quickly. <laughs> very quickly. I haven't done it on the fiber yet, but I can tell you that that coating is, is very, very thin. Um, and I, I can probably do that entire keychain in uh, maybe 20 or 25 seconds, something like that. You know, I haven't done the test for the material yet. So, um, in fact, I will do that because I'm going to add that to my material library, being that I have nine sheets of this in different colors now. So uh, I will test it for the fiber, but it's going to it's going to do it very quickly, uh, maybe 20 or 30 seconds for each one. Uh, and uh, an idea that I had with my cows, you know. I'm not a dad. I'm not a granddad and don't plan to be. And if I am, I don't want to know about it. <laughs> you probably are. I made these for a family member. I, my cousin just, I guess she's about two months now. But the idea that I had for these as far as a revenue idea, go market these to your local photography places. The ones that are doing the newborn photo shoots. And you want to sell them not one, but you want to sell them four. Why four? Because how many times are they going to do a photo shoot where they're doing twin girls or twin boys? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They need a boy and a girl. 
Yep. So go to your go to hobowithwood.com, grab these files, then you can go to make these, go to your local photography sh shops, and I sell those. I'm I'm marketing those and selling the cows and the 20 or the 12 tags. Uh, I, I think 70 bucks for the for the pair. So and then what I was doing to for my well, what if they have sex tuplets? Well, then they should have stayed off your bed. Uh, but for the photography shops, I, I say they're 70 a piece, or I'll do you four for the price of three. Yeah. And so that's an, an yeah. opportunity to market something. You know, how, how many times are you going to make these and use them yourself and the family? Once? Yeah. But a yeah. photography studio, man, they could use those over and over and over again and yeah. a, a neat little prop for them. Yep. So, Dave, the uh, <clears throat> the obsidian came from uh, jpplus.com. Johnson Johnson Plastic Plus, jpplus.com. Uh, that's where all of my acrylic comes from because um, I try and, and do uh, a larger order so I don't have to pay shipping. So I think it's like $50 or something to to uh, get the free shipping. And... Et hobo, you don't tell your wife you're busy. You pay attention to her right then. Well, I guess that's why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when that dog barks, you jump. Well, she doesn't say anything, and when she does, he doesn't I, need a wife. He's got a dog. Yeah, when she barks, I listen because when she barks, she needs to go outside, and we're gonna go right now. Other than that, she's quiet. That's she right. <laughs> so she, she's telling me she's getting ready to pee her pants. So we gonna go. What what is the uh, question, Gail? You you put the two color sheets question mark. Uh, I'm not quite sure, sure what your question is. Go up to her first part of the comments. Up to. Mm -hmm. Is the coating painted on? No, the coating is a is plastic. It's thin plastic. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so it's thin plastic that's adhered to the top of thicker plastic. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Arrange babies around the prop. That's mm. exactly what, yeah, that's, yep. I, I, I don't want no babies in here, but yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, you put that in the photograph with the baby. The sextuplets will still only be two bio, gen not necessarily. Don't they, I mean, isn't that like twins? I mean, there can be twins of two genders. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, hear what you're saying. Yeah. No, I actually see it. It's on the screen. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, you could also put years on the back of the month tags. And yeah. Yeah. Yep. Now what, what, what I was going to do, if you're going to make this for personal use, to the, uh, where is the boy? The version that I have for download actually has a blank area for when you take this tag off. I painted that one, but you don't have to paint that. You could actually engrave the baby's name, the birth date, the weight. All that yep. can be a permanent fixture there, and then for the monthly photograph, you put your tag on there. Mm -hmm. So that's and there is no wrong way to do this stuff, guys. You know. Yep. <clears throat> Romark utilizes pre-consumer recycled plastic and where product specifications permit, averaging twenty percent in select products. Once a Romark product is consumed, it may be recycled. Okay, I don't know what the question is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I like buying from them because they use recycled materials and it's made in America. So uh, what happened to Patrick is Patrick is on satellite and he has a very unstable connection. Uh, and, and, and he said it was storming pretty good up there too. Yeah, so he, he lost his satellite uh, connection. So I'm being quiet, just like Patrick. That's why I'm here. <laughs> uh, Got to go. Not a question, just a comment. I made a comment to Rich earlier. Look for it. Thanks. Okay, I don't know if we're going to scroll back and look for it. But uh, if you have a comment that goes un unanswered, you can send it to uh, lasermakersrealm at gmail.com. Uh, well, welcome, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Ian finally made it. Don't forget, folks, you can always see the replay of this 
uh, when we post it. And the replays get posted right after the stream. So, um, you know, you can always come back and see the replay. You can even watch the entire live again, which is the same thing as the replay on the live tab on the channel. And I think he's using Starlink, ain't he? Yes, he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's on yeah. Starlink. But he's uh, the weather, he said, was it's been pretty bad up there today. And, and when, when I come in, it was looking really dark and rumbling. He said he was experiencing some bad weather, too. And don't forget, we have a bunch of social media as well where you can ask questions, too. So down below, you'll see all of our different um, social media. And even if you're most of our viewers are not young, but even if you are, we even have a discord. So <laughs> not something that I personally like, but Patrick, Patrick uh, takes care of that. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. I'm only. I don't even know anything about Discord. I've never heard of it until you guys introduced me to it, and I've never used it. Yeah. Well, um, if you guys want to buy this laser that I've got in the back, that all of us have in the live stream, um, there is a link that also supports the channel down below, and it's very simply lasermatic uh, lasermakersrealm.com/slash rolly10. Yeah. We're going to change that to lasermatic. Um, yeah, but for right now, that's what it is. Lasermakersrealm.com slash Rolly 10. I, I, I want to, I want to make a, a controversial statement that you might want to smack me on the hand when I say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. I've been, uh, I've been, uh, watching the, uh, rolling the laser, uh, the, the laser matic automation, whatever the Facebook group. Yeah. And a lot of people have been talking about problems they don't know problems and and if this if you purchase this laser matic 10 and it's your very first laser ever then some of the problems might just be due to inexperience and or problems with your hardware i, I, I haven't seen problems being posted there oh they well that's what i'm saying it's not problems with machines but people are and then they oh. get yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. They they misinterpret their inability to use it as yeah. it's a problem with it's not a problem with the machine. If you well, want problematic lasers, buy one of the other ones. Yeah, that's for sure. Buy one of those. Yeah. Buy one of those other ones that I won't even talk about. And then yeah. you wish like hell you spent less money and bought one of these. Yeah, uh, but you know uh, the the good thing about this machine is that it is it, it's completely problem free if. You read the owner's manual. So, and it is the best owner's manual you'll find with any laser anywhere, bar none. It is done on cardstock paper. It's got pictures. It's all in plain English. It's not in Chinglish like the rest of them are. And it tells you step by step by step how to set it up, how to install the software. Everything is right there in the manual. So Chris says there's a difference between machine problem and user error. Yeah. And 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 I cockpit error. I, I absolutely. And and that's what you know, I don't want people's inexperience and their their negative comments because of their inability to work with. I'm telling you what, guys, this thing, I if this had been my very first laser, I probably wouldn't have had four or five other ones. Because yeah. that first and and I I was I was about ready to throw in the towel after that verse when it was such a problematic thing. And that happens to be the biggest name brand out there that we don't mention. Junk, absolute junk. They're great yeah. at marketing, but yeah. but uh, any if you if you have been following along and you say, well, well, that's not everything that Rich has said it's been. No, it is everything Rich has said it's been. But as it was just mentioned, most of the problems are cockpit error, and when there is the occasion. There, that might have been a small technical difficulty, then they're Johnny on the spot. Now, who is who is the one guy? And I don't know, Rich, if you're – is it Dimitri? Yeah. Who is he? He's uh, one of the moderators on the forum. He's just a user that Boy, loves the machine. He Yeah, he is super helpful. Uh, he, he, will, he will actually get on uh, a Zoom call with you. Uh, if you're having trouble and the only thing that most that most new users have trouble with is the uh, virtual device driver, the CH340. So that's it. That's really the only problem that most new users have. Um, but 
some new users, they can't figure out how to focus it. And, you know, I saw one particular post that I thought was kind of funny because uh, they focused the laser once and then they tightened the little knob so that it wouldn't move. And then they said, well, it, it, I can't focus it anymore. Now I can only cut on this three millimeter wood because <laughs> it won't move up and down when I try and turn the knob. And, uh, you know, there were 42 comments to that. And I said, well, did you just loosen the little lock knob on the side? <laughs> All right, just to cl clarify, Rich says you could win the machine behind him, but it isn't a new Lasermatic. Wrong, Brand new. wrong, and wrong. Brand new. Are, this the 29th, in two weeks from tonight, the raffle is for a brand spanking out of the box, brand new Lasermatic 10. Delivered then, by Amazon. Then to follow that up, we are giving away our machines in raffles. Except for me. The one on the 29th is brand new. Yeah. And and these, I've I've not had mine, what, a month, six weeks? Yeah. You know, so any when we go to give away our used ones. They're still going to be in excellent condition and, and good working order. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, and we already addressed this. Uh, they said they're, they're looking for buying the lasermatic when the 20 watt comes out. Uh, bah, 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 bah. All right. Question marks. Want to talk problems? I started off with a Sane Smart knockoff 3018 Pro. <laughs> now, if there is an issue, it's almost always something I overlooked, which such as not refocusing. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, so we're down to the um, the last mm, eight minutes of the live stream. We've only had four donations so far. I, I mean. With 90 well, people watching, I would expect that's, that's that, that that's we've without seen. Without looking at the other donations. Yeah. yeah. And, and and Patrick yeah. is the one that sees the other stuff, so I don't know. Oh, that's true. There. Yep. So I'll, I'll take that back. But don't forget, yeah. folks, there is that little dollar sign right by the chat where you can donate live uh, while we're streaming. So, uh, yeah, I forgot about the other one. Yeah. There, well, there's, what, four other methods, but they don't post here. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't right, forget that's... now, if you have an idea... Down on the bottom of the screen, you'll see the email address for the Laser Makers Realm. So if you submit an idea for us, to us, for a project, and we use it, and we actually make it on the live stream, we'll send it to you for free after we do the live stream. So you'll and get the physical product that we make. We And we've had some suggestions coming in. Uh, v Swan says, when, when he wins, he's already claiming it. When I win the laser medic, can one of you fellas include the little focal <laughs> holder too? Yes, mine is going to come with it. So uh, I'm don't know about that's only now we're only talking about the LMR branded ones. So the one that's going to come from Amazon is not going to include it. Right. No, the, the the ones that we're giving away, our machines, uh, and the file the to do the cut out the wood boxes and the free file is in the download tonight. And Army Dogs Creation came through with a ten dollar donation. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. And question: uh, When are we giving ours away? Ours will be done. Uh, not, uh, not for a long time. Yeah, but not and but and it won't be all three at one time. They'll be individually no. raffled off as yeah. we get replacement machines, and we don't. Yeah. Have well, for, first we'll be raffling off the Lasermatic Ten. And uh, then after that, we'll be raffling off a Lasermatic 20. And then after that, we'll be laser uh, raffling off a Lasermatic 30. So it, it, it probably won't be for some time. We may set up multiple raffles. Um, we, we haven't really decided any of that yet. But for right now, uh, we're going to say it won't be for several months. All right. Uh... Will you gentlemen's files be posted he here after this live stream or, or, or on the laser makers realm? Laser um, should our, it should already be on the laser makers realm. Let me take a look and see. No, for some reason it's not. I, same thing happened the last two weeks ago. We had a post schedule that didn't post. Um, I will actually go and force post that right now. And, uh, if you want to bring me some whiskey, I think I think you told me once before you were in California. If you want to come from California and bring me some whiskey, I'm happy. I'll be happy to partake. 
Uh, Let's see, looking for question marks. Okay, let's see. Lightburn has an option <clears throat> to set so you can enter ever a checklist and enable it so you cannot start. Lightburn has an option to set so you can enter every, maybe, <clears throat> I don't know what it is, a checklist and enable it so you cannot start. Yeah, uh, I don't know that's a, is that a question? If you're asking, does it have that? Yes, it does have that option. Uh, <clears throat> And that's in your uh, settings, and I don't, I can't share my screen. I'm not that advanced, but I'm gonna go in here to my settings real quick. It's a, uh, a either in the gears or the wrench and screwdriver. It's a checklist. And whenever Rich gets back, he can tell us exactly where it's at. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed all that. I was in the other office. What, what I, was can't, it? I can't tell if this was a question or a comment. It's got a question mark in it, but he's talking about you know the the checklist. You the, you know enabling a checklist so that you make sure you've done everything before you hit start. You know, you, when you hit start, that checklist pops up. I've got. Yes, hang on. Yeah, hang on one second. <clears throat> yeah, I turned on on mine. I have to remember where I did it at. Oh, it's in the device settings. I'll show you. Hang on. And that's what I'm so about. Um, if you come up here to the uh, wrench and I and screwdriver icon uh, over here, you see where it says enabled way down here. It's kind of hard to see. I uh, can't see it. It says enable job checklist right here at the bottom. Just above. Where, OK, just. Yep. Above OK. So if you tick that on to green and then click on edit, then whatever you type in here and uh, say OK to, well, that, that will pop up the message. So I'm going to turn it off for now. But that is where uh, just remember the wrench and screwdriver icon. And then way at the bottom, you'll see enable job checklist down here. And maybe if I make this uh, a little bit bigger, that might help. Nope, that didn't do anything. But I, I use that feature. Yeah. But that, that's where it is, the, the little wrench and screwdriver, way at the bottom of the screen, enable job checklist. Any idea when the Chuck Rotary will be available? Chicago Bob. The Chuck Rotary for the Lasermatic 10 um, should be available at the end of August. It's, uh, in fact, it might even be available sooner because I think that that is going to be in, that is going to be in version two. So probably in the next couple of weeks. Do you have a, a banner for the signing up for the raffle? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, was Mark Bingham is asking, where do we sign up for the raffles? It's on the bottom of the screen. There you go. There there you go, Mark. Uh, <laughs> HDL holsters, what did I miss? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> you missed the whole thing. <laughs> I'll say <laughs> you missed the whole thing okay we are at one minute and 28 seconds i mean one hour and 28 minutes so we're only two minutes away from the end of tonight's live stream so uh any last minute uh questions or comments um need to be made now because we're just about done for the night <laughs> i've never been this quiet my entire life i can't no you it. never have jerry <laughs> All right. So uh, we're down to the final one minute now, folks. So uh, any questions or comments that you have, make them now. Um, otherwise, I want to thank everybody for watching. I'm going to go back to my screen again and show you the things that I've made this week, the things that are in the download. So I've got the uh, Overlook Hotel key. I've got the Bates Motel over here. And I've also got Steve's designs. <clears throat> got 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 several different uh, self defense keychains. Now, I do want to stress again, guys, before you waste your acrylic trying these designs, these self defense design, cut them out of basswood, cheap wood, scrap wood, and make sure they're going to fit your fingers or her fingers, yeah. and then go make them out of acrylic because those really. I, I made about you know half a dozen of these just getting the right fit for me and for some of the girls. I'm not a big guy and I I you know I got little fat knuckles, but I don't have big fingers. Okay, and that, that post is now live on the lasermakersrealm.com. 
So um, you can go and view that post, lasermakersrealm.com. And when you view the post, you'll see a link to the download for the zip file for tonight's video. Hobo with one. And while, while, and while you're there, subscribe to the notification. Go ahead, Steve. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, yeah, hit that subscribe button. And then for these other files, the cows and all that, hobowithwood.com. Don't forget that. That support is going to help me keep this going. Without it, <laughs> I ain't going to be here. And that's about it. We are at 90 minutes. Uh, so I want to say thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight and watching. Thank you, Jerry, well, down there. Oh, thank no, you for, yeah. for coming with us tonight. Thank you, Steve. Where is he? Over there. <laughs> and uh, thank you all for being here with us. We will see you again in two weeks. You don't want to miss the next one because the next one is going to be fun and it's going to be a project that everybody can do. You're going to absolutely love it. It's probably and, something you haven't seen before. And are we, so, giving, away, are we giving away the Lasermatic in the mm -hmm. live stream? Yes, we are in the next live stream. Yeah. All, all the more reason you want to be yeah. here and you want to be registered. And get over there to that where he's the, the um, that work. Share that banner one more time where they sign up because uh, it's right there at the bottom of the screen. No, that's that's the that's, that's where you buy it. At. That's, that's not buying the laser map. Oh, okay. So uh, where where was it? It is lahobbyguy.com slash lasermatic. Because there's multiple ways to enter, and you can enter more than once. Let me make sure I'm going to go there. I forgot. That's the purchase link I've been putting. Yeah, that's it. LAHobbyGuy.com slash Lasermatic is the actual link. I will put that in the comments right now. There we go. So uh, you can sign up for, for that raffle right there, right now. And we will be giving that laser away direct from Amazon. <laughs> It'll come straight to you brand new in the box on the next live stream in two weeks. Do and we'll have, also have a really fun project. Do you have to be present to win? No, you do not. <laughs> no, you do not. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. And we will see you all in two weeks' time. Have a good night.